Always bet on black. Wing. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class, Blackwing! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Blackwing, his name is Blackwing, he is a Deluxe Class, a Class of Deluxe, a Class of Deluxe, and a Class of Deluxe, so inside the box there we have him combined with a dread win, and actually we'll come back to the front because we want to show off this nice piece of artwork here of a black wing. Now on the back of the box we have our obligatory product shots and our bio if you want to read it in multiple languages. Hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. Also included is the collector's card with that same image there of Blackwing. And on the back he is Alchemist Blackwing. Create a compound that accelerates the spread of rust. I believe that is what they call poo. Hooray for carts. And moving right along, here we have Blackwing, which is a very misleading name because his wings are actually purple, but hey! Hey, uh, so here he is in his jet mode, and let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. We've got some nice paint right up front here for the cockpits, and some nice silver and red right up front there. Got the purple wings with the lightning bolt done in yellow and silver. What a nice Decepticon symbol right there. You get some silver paint on the tail fins. Uh, mine, as you can see, came a little warped out of the, uh, out of the package, but that's easily fixed with a hairdryer. And there's the back, there's the bottom, pretty much know how this works. The wings um, are on the hinge there, so you can kind of angle them however you want. You can bring them all the way back if you want to, bring them straight out, do whatever you want. I just like to bring them kind of out like that. That's my preferred way of displaying it. But as always, your toy, display it however you wish. So, there you have that. And for comparison, here he is with Dreadwind. As you can see, oh, these two look with one another so there you have that now as far as accessories go he does include two guns which are just cast in a gray plastic and you can store these on the jet mode there are ports right here on either side and you just take them and plug them in like so and now it has guns get in there guns they're a little tight. There we go. There you go. You got the jets armed up. And you also get the prime armor. And of course you have the centerpiece here, which comes out. And this one is actually quite tight. There we go. And you can pull this out. And of course you can plug a prime master or a titan master in there. Or an enigma. Whatever you want to plug in there. And you can store this on the jet mode. Just bring that down. And that will just plug in right up top. Like so. And there you have the prime armor on the jets. Hooray for things on top of jets. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so there you have that. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. Now, the first thing we're going to show off is the combined mode with Blackwing and Dreadwind. So to get him ready for this combination, uh, you just want to untab the cockpit section from the front there. And you want to raise all of this up like so. You want to flip down this, this peg right here like that. You want to take the wings and just rotate them around like so. And at this point, you can just take this, tab that back into place. This cockpit section you want to bring all the way back. Make sure the head goes with it. That's as far as it goes, but you know, best you can do. And there you go. So he's ready for a combination. Now for Dreadwind, what you want to do is you want to flip up these back fins here and you want to take the wings and you want to shift them to the back like that. And he is ready to go. And all you do is just plug Black wing into the back of Dreadwind here, and there, there you go. There you have the combined mode for Black Wing and Dreadwind, and um, yeah, sure, sure. I know it's an homage to the G1 toy because the G1 toys did this, but you know, it's just, it's okay, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> 
and it doesn't really hold on all that securely either. That that connection needs to be a bit, a bit, uh, a bit tighter. You can fix that with some uh, some floor polish or nail polish. Um, and uh, Ariel Lemon on uh, on uh, Shapeways did uh, make a little connector piece that allows these two to hold together dead solidly. Um, I'm not going to buy that because I have no intention whatsoever on displaying them like this, so I don't really care. But hey, it's there if you want to take advantage of that option. The option is there for you. Um, but yeah, there's the combined jet mode there. Whoosh. Whoosh. There you go. <laughs> okay. So anyway, that's enough of that. So now let's get down to the combined mode. So let me remove the guns. You don't have to remove the guns if you don't want to, but I remove them just because. So pop those off. So first we'll start off with the leg mode. So just take these and flip them up. You want to open up this whole back assembly and you want to flip up the combiner peg like so. Uh, this section right here, you want to bring all the way down. This will sit flat like that. And then you bring this up. Make sure the cockpit is straight. It's on double hinge, so make sure it's totally straight. And now that will tab in right there, like so. And then we take the wings, bring them around, bring them forward, and bring them up. Round, forward, up, like that. And there you have the leg mode. Hooray! Four leg modes. We so moving on to arm mode. Uh, what you're going to do here is you're going to just untab all this and straighten all this back out. Make sure you bring the wings out. Straighten all that back out. You want to bring the wings all the way up like so. Uh, you want to take this peg right here. It helps if you just kind of bring it up a bit. Just to kind of get things out of the way. We'll deal with that a little bit later. And you can now just tab this back in like so. This will sit flat against the back like that. And you want to untab the arms from the sides, open the section up, extend the legs, make sure these sections here stay straight like so, and just close that back up. You have the tabs, slots, a typical Combiner Wars transformation there. And at this point, you want to take the shoulders and shift them all the way up like that. Bring the arm in, rotate it down, and this tab will go into that notch right there. Do the same thing on the other side. Just bring that up, in, down, and tab that into the notch like so. Rotate, and again, this bit you can just kind of tuck into the... Uh, just tuck in right there. It keeps it out of the way. And then we can bring in the prime armor, flip out the fingers, do whatever you want with the thumbs. Plug that in. And so there you have the arm mode for Blackwing. There you go. Yay for arm modes. Again, you have your elbow joint there. If you want more of an elbow joint, you can always turn it around and it'll actually give you a double jointed elbow. Again, however you want to display it is up to you. But there is the arm mode for Black Wing. So moving on to robot mode. Just take the waist, bring it to the front, split the legs, and you got that all done. Untab the arm. Bring it down, orient everything properly, on top, bring down, and rotate everything so it's oriented properly. And then you just want to bring this back, turn the wings back around, bring them up, turn around, bring that up. You can now bring that in, make sure this stays tucked right back in there. We can now close that back up, and we just take the head and bring it down. Turn his head around, like so. And sometimes his head likes to pop itself back up. You see his little, his little tab there it goes into a notch, which is supposed to hold it in place, but sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, and sometimes it's just a little, little temperamental. Mine's just a little temperamental about that. Sometimes it wants to stay down, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, there you have Blackwing in his robot mode.
And he looks pretty good. I mean, granted, he is the most boring figure of this wave because he is just another Aerobot remold, but I mean, he still, he still looks pretty good. So let's get in close here. Oh, that's Nogin. There it is. Nicely done head sculpt, though. Looks good. You got the purple there for the visor. The mouth is painted. Nice silver there on the chest with a Decepticon symbol. Got some silver there on the midsection. Got some gray paint there for his hands. Some nice silver there on the knees. And his toes are painted. On the back, you can see it's kind of a typical jet former backpack with the uh, nose cone there, just kind of hanging out. But still, not a bad looking robot, all things considered. Now, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. You don't get too much wiggly waggly due to the uh, the shape of the helmet, but he can look all the way up. He can total squirrel. He can do that. Uh, can't really look down. Can do a full 360. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint. You got a little bit of forward and backward movement. You have outward movement, full 360 degree range of rotation. You also have. This shoulder joint at the base you can make use of, as well as that hinge right there. You do have bicep rotation, slightly over 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. You do have waist rotation, the hips are on a ball joint, legs can go forward, that far, back, that far, outward, that far. Thigh rotation, under 90 degrees of bend at the knee, nothing at the feet because that is a solid piece. And the wings, of course, you can take and angle those however you wish, leave them down, bring them up, bring them out, do whatever you want, have them do the splits while you're doing that, why not, there you go, I don't know, anywho, so there you have that, and of course you can give him his weaponry, you can hold them in his hands, or if you want you can just leave them plugged into his forearms, if you wish, totally, totally up to you, and of course you can give him his Prime armor, just flip those fingers in, bring that down, and you just flip down this panel here on this chest to reveal the ports, and you can just plug that right in, which on mine, this is quite a snug connection. There we go. You can plug on his prime armor, which of course looks ridiculous, but hey, it's a thing, it's a thing you can do if you want to. Or you can take it and plug it into his form if you want. That's also an option. Again, totally up to you what you want to do with it. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Here he is with his partner in crime, Dreadwind. And you can see there is a lot remolded between the two. I mean, they do share legs. Well, the, the, the fronts of the legs anyway. But still two pretty good looking Decepticon figures in my opinion. So there you go. So there you have power of the Primes of Blackwing. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, it he's the most boring figure of the wave because he's just another aerial bot remold, but I mean, he's still a nicely done figure. He's still quite fun, quite playable. The combined uh, jet mode with Dreadwind is a nice added touch, a nice homage to the G1 toy. Very weird, doesn't really work all that well, but it's a, it's, it's a nice nudge, nudge, wink, wink to the G1 toy. Just could have been executed a little bit better. Robot mode looks quite good, and uh, yeah, you know, just overall a uh, a nice, fun, playable figure. So there you go. So if you would like this or any other Power of the Primes toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power of the Primes playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Power of the Primes Deluxe Class Black Wing, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, bomb in your face! You know something, Dreadwind? I got a confession to make. What's that? Um, kind of jealous. Jealous? Jealous of what? Of the combiners, man. I wish we could combine it to some super robot. No, oh, we can totally do that. We can? Yeah, sure. All right, let's show those Autobots who's in charge. 
Okay, this is this is not exactly what I had in mind. Well, well, this, this is not what I had in mind. Really, this is exactly what I had in mind. Now, keep your footing. What? No. What? Ah! Yeah, you're not good at this combiner thing. <laughs>